Hello everyone. Um, a quick note right here before we start this next Retro Rentals game. Um, for the D category, the first actual game is called Dance Aerobics. And it uses this accessory for the Nintendo called the Power Pad. Now, I had totally forgot about this, but unlike the, the Zap Gun, it's a little hard to emulate a full body motion step on little circle things. I mean, this was very early compared to some of the other... I mean, I know we have Wii and the Kinetic and all that other motion capture stuff, but back in the day, all they had were the little sensors on the foldable plastic pad. So, what I'm going to do is probably just skip the power pad games. I mean, dance aerobics. I'm... It's a game, I guess. Precursor to all the Nintendo Wii and stuff, but it's not really in my power to emulate. So we'll be moving on to the next game. And it seems that game is Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat. Now I know this is kind of strange for a D category, but technically the D is the first letter. So this is a racing game. Uh, it came out in 1992 in the United States and Europe. Um, I'm not quite sure who Danny Sullivan is, but I assume he is some sort of sports guy. Um, I've been a big fan of indie racing for a long time, so I'm looking forward to this. So, I actually have the back of the game here. Right, so, feel the heat. I'll read this to you here. You've played it in the arcades, now play it at home. Settle into the cockpit of one of the world's most powerful racing machines. Listen to the engine roar as you accelerate to breakneck speeds in a matter of seconds. An engine, tire, or fuel loss may slow you down, but you can count on the split-second performance of your expert pit crew to get you back on track for your winning lap. It won't be easy. After all, you're racing against Danny Sullivan. Still don't know who that is. But... Use your winnings to hone your car's performance to a razor's edge, and the championship may be within your grasp. You'll work your way up through eight grueling tracks to the ultimate challenge, the Trade West Speed Bowl. If you're ready to race with the big boys, IndyCar competition doesn't get any hotter than this. So, yeah, racing game. Apparently they're... Promoting is a four-player game, which the Nintendo only came out with the two two controller slots, so you had to buy a separate extension to get the whole four-player fun going on. I obviously will just be playing a single-player versus this, which I'm hoping will work out, but we shall see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Guess that's Danny Sullivan in his indie car. A little bit of an intro here going on, so I'll let it do its thing. And turbos, pits, turbo buttons, knock other cars off their jacks. Somehow I don't think that's allowed in indie car. Uh, brakes, tires, cool. I assume these are all like power ups you can get or buy or something. like it should be pretty interesting. So apparently this is what we're going to get. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see. So I got press start, enter my name. Let's see, I get three letters. L. Choice. Denny buys the best stuff. 
Let's burn rubber, Danny. Let's just search it. So this is the other... I got 100,000 money to spend. Um, I don't want to buy turbos yet because I'm not going to be able to figure out what I'm doing. And I'm probably going to screw up all right anyway. Tires for red skinny. We probably should get some tires. I like some tires. Let's buy some tires. Yeah, this one's like a Boy, 40,000 for tires? Buy some crew to leaves us with 20. I can't get any more than that or the engine. So that's that. Okay, let's burn some rubber. I do not know what I'm doing. I don't know which car I am. What I'm doing. Oh boy, I guess I'm red. Okay. The A button is. first race here. 83 mile per hour average. That's really, really slow for an Indy car. <laughs> At least nowadays, anyway. So, next race is in New Jersey. Race 2, 5 laps. Okay, what do we want to buy here? Um, I want to buy some more tires, because I don't like skidding, and I do that a lot. Anymore. One more crew. if I was an actual indie car driver. Oh, they're telling me to pit. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get that fuel in there. I can pass yellow. Yellow is the guy in front of me. Ah, uh, he's pitting. I'm stuck in traffic. No, he's gonna catch up. Second place, I'm still doing good on points. I won 90k versus 100k, which is pretty good. He's just a little... Oh, I was still faster than him. And we're tied on the actual circuit. Fun! South California, five laps, race three. Okay, well, I'm gonna buy some engines. Speed up my engine -ness. We need to go faster. Two engines, just... Let's go. Uh, 
this is one headache of a track here. Ugh. Once again, yellow is right on my tail. Get out of the way. Get. Michigan, race four, five laps. Okay. I still want engine, so let's get some engine. Um, I should get some some miles per gallon, but I'm gonna get another crew instead. So, let's burn some rubber. Five, eight laps. Continue? Yes, I want to continue. Okay. I keep all my... Yeah, why did it tell me I had to press enter to continue? That was strange. Down to 33 turbos. Boy, turbos are going to be expensive when the time comes. Okay, um... Get some MP. Miles per gallon. And then another crew. I want my crew to be fast. So, let's start the next race here. Oh no, a big triangle. Oh, this should be good. Let's get away from Oh, what the hell is going on there? In the 
lead. Final lap. You're not beating me this time. Ha ha, I win! Chicken flag! 119 miles per hour on that one. He used lots of turbos though, so he's still lean on points. Our miles per hour got average is the same though. So Ohio! Five laps. Okay. I have zero turbos left. This is gonna suck. Um, let's get in. Let's. Um, more miles per engine increase speed. So, do it without turbos. Should be fun. It's not that close, but so close to points. It just... Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Type of thing. How many more races have we got in the circuit? Eastern Canada, race seven, five laps. Okay, well, I think I need to buy some turbos this time, so we'll buy. Oh, so it does give us 10 per 3,000 bucks. Okay, so. Now we have the turbos. We'll beat Danny. Come on. Larry, come on. This track is rough. How did I pull that off? That is pretty awesome. Bumper cars for the win. I'm still not in the lead though. He's still got me by four points. Ugh. Really snotting up. Lovely sound. Okay, next race, Colorado. Race eight. Five laps. Uh, excuse me a moment as I blow my nose off camera. Okay, guys, somehow I have gotten my microphone muted when I went off to blow my nose. So, I'm going to be doing commentary for the rest of this um, post. I buy some tires and some more crew. So, I quite enjoyed this game. I was kind of surprised. Still not quite sure who Danny Sullivan is. Uh, it's 
before my time. I grew up in Indy, but in the, the 80s, he was much more of a, a circuit driver, I guess, and I was I'm much more of a, a um, 500 guy. I had always watched the 500 with my family, it became a big thing. May in Indiana was all about the race. off my fancy buffer car skills. I so could not be a real Indy driver. I'd be crashing all over the place. Of course, as a simulation goes, this is probably a little unrealistic. The actual Indy car. Yep. And of course, Danny beats me. I still wonder whether they don't give him some sort of... the scenes bonus because it's named after him. And here we are, the Trade West Speed Bowl, the last race. The big Twilly. This is basically the Indy 500, but from what I can tell, I'm guessing they named it the Trade West Speed Bowl so they wouldn't have to pay the Indy 500 people. Because it's a big old famous, the, the ultimate challenge and everything, it's just an oval, which I know seems strange, but I guess it shows off the, the performance of the car as you get to a faster speed when you have just an oval. So, I'm pretty sure this one I really showed my skills, because I wasn't playing bumper cars left and right, and he's still ahead of me here, but we're on the same He's got a pit, and I don't. So I pass him up, use all my turbos. Let's go, 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 go. Racing game, yes. Yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about during this. Probably focusing on keeping up, not getting in issues. Probably shouldn't have to shouldn't have spend any money on brakes. If I spend any money on brakes. Oh, a minute ago, and I still can't remember. So, I'm in the lead, and I pass him again because he pits and I don't. Which I assume because I upgraded my fuel capacity. Because he has turbo, so he's coming up on me quick back there. I'm stuck there, and he beats me by a hair's length. Ugh. So annoying. I'm not even sure whether I could have won the whole thing if I had gotten first place, because the margin there is still too high. 16 point margin, and even if I won, I would have only been a 4 point margin, so. There you have it, guys. That is Danny Sullivan's Indy Heat. Don't know who the other guys are. Here it just keeps going. Resets itself so you can hit continue if you want to keep going into the next race. Or if you let it run out, it just says game over. Which is kind of disappointing, but that's how it is. And the top 10 drivers, we only have 8th, just one run through. I don't see how someone can get 50 out of that. I was pretty bad going backwards into the pit and everything, so. And we have Danny's awesome wins. Oh, he actually did win the 500 in 1985. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't know all those races. Like I said, I only really knew the 500. So. Sullivan's Indie Heat. Thank you for watching. Until next time on Retro Rentals.